I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of the old mill when we first bought it. It's made in 1959. This is it on the trailer. Dude took a grinder to it and messed up the rubber coating. Painted it rust brown. A few of the things that came with it came with the old Bridgeport vise. And, you know, the clamps. Uh, some, a full collet set. And, uh, phase converter so I pull the rear tires off the trailer because that you know leave the front ones pull the rear ones it'll drop that ass in right to the ground throw it up on some damn tubes yes that's conduit and it did the job I use two straps one is the is a safety strap it'll only move about a foot the other one's the strap that we're moving it forward with couple blocks and some beans roll the damn thing roll it right up onto it once I got it there I used the engine lift to lift it up to put more tube under it the lift wouldn't lift the whole thing you know and then there we go we got it on the ground so we start taking the damn thing apart pull the table off carriage all that good stuff remove all that crap uh, another shot of the table that's uh, we put the table in the toolbox which I should have just slid it on there to begin with so that's the size of it and we cleaned it up and everything before we put it back on and then this is where we start stripping all the damn rubber coating off because they'd already ground into it to the casting so they'd already screwed the pooch on it you know I'd have just assumed not had to do that so we get it all down to down to the rough casting cleaned up nice and good get the head down to it taking you know some flap wheels to it once we get it down then we start smearing bondo on now, I'm not trying to put a layer of bondo on the whole thing. I'm just trying to smooth smooth it out like you would a car body. So you got some thick spots and some not so thick spots. You know, if it didn't need a lot, it didn't get a lot. You know, you smear it on, and then you just start block sanding it, I guess you'd say. So you, you, you know, again, I didn't want a big thick layer of bondo across the whole thing. I just wanted a smooth body. On the handles and stuff, you didn't have that problem. You know, because they weren't rough cast, casting. You know, I mean, you got 200,000 worth of dips in that, that rough casting. So then we're priming everything up. You know, once we've got, got the bondo all, or the, got it all sanded smooth and everything. Prime it all up, get it ready to get it ready for some paint. You know, as you can see, we got it pretty smooth. You know, as much time as I was willing to put into it at the time. And then we'll tape it off. You know, what we don't want painted certain colors. You know, we painted. I like everything two tones, so everything's going to be silver and, and and black that's just I don't know I'm weird that way so we taped off what we don't want to paint it one and then came back and touched that up with a brush and stuff like that you know same with that drip pan and the jack screw all that that's all black you know, so it basically black silver black silver black silver black silver that's how I, how I roll As you can see there's the pan with the tape and everything off of it you know came out pretty nice it's got a nice black ring all the way around the bottom of it there's a shot from the back side so that ring goes all the way around the entire perimeter that's the power feed it don't work but since it's on there I wanted it to be pretty so I took it all apart painted everything black and silver again all the handles, knobs, all black and silver. And this is my favorite part here because it, it just looks real nice on the 
on the side of the middle, you know. And there it is up there. Again, black and silver, black and silver. And then we did the same thing with the bridge port. Black, in, black inlay, silver. 